Hello, and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with attorney Brian Lerner. Um, in this particular episode, I'd like to talk a bit about when, how, and if you can modify an irrevocable trust. So let's say that you have a husband and wife who are married. Um, they agree to give you know, the house to the, to the daughter. Uh, to their daughter, uh, you know, and put it in an irrevocable trust, meaning that uh, when one spouse dies, the property gets put in an irrevocable trust so it can't be changed. Now, let's say that there's two sisters and the surviving spouse, and let's say uh, that the surviving spouse really doesn't want it anymore in the irrevocable trust and wants to sell it to get money or for whatever reason. So, the surviving spouse cannot, as it initially stands, uh, sell the property because it is no longer the surviving spouse's property. It is while the surviving spouse is living, that property is able to allow the surviving spouse to live there, to get income from it, whatever the spouse wants to do except sell it or change uh, who owns it. Then when the surviving spouse dies, it goes to the child. Well. Let's say that the surviving spouse then says, well, you know, I kind of don't want to wait till I die. I want to sell it now because I want money to do this or that. Well, the surviving spouse theoretically could get, uh, you know, whoever the surviving spouse is to agree to modify the irrevocable trust. Uh, and also the surviving spouse would need the consent of the beneficiaries in order to do so as well. So let's say there's two daughters, one uh, spouse who, uh, you know, all deal with this property. All three of them would need to sign the document to modify the irrevocable trust. But even after it's signed, if it still is completely against the intention of the spouse who died, it certainly will not be valid and can be set aside. Also, normally a motion in probate court would be needed in order to get approval to modify the trust. A lot of times that's done because there's ambiguities, because it's unclear what the intention was, because the value of the property is plummeting and they have to save it. You know, reasons like that, not just because, for example, the surviving spouse, you know, wants to get some more money. So in reality, to modify a uh, irrevocable trust, uh, with the, even with the consent of all the parties involved, it's quite difficult. So you'll, you'll want to make sure that, you know, when you and your spouse are deciding what to do and what to make irrevocable, that, you know, that's what you really want. Um, because the reality is, you know, and the reason it's so difficult is because the other spouse who agreed to make it irrevocable and who gave their reasons and so forth is no longer living. They have nobody that can talk for them. And so, um, you know, the burden of just being able to go in and modify something easily is, should not be easy and is not easy. Okay, if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and also you can uh, subscribe. Uh, you can call my office, get a f initial free consultation, and then uh, I'll see what I can do to help. More on the coming videos.